hi everyone this is indra welcome back to my channel today in this video i am going to solve some questions related with the bearing basically the questions are related to the true bearing we have already discussed the basic concept and the types of bearing in the previous video i will i will share the link of that video in the description box please first watch that video then you will be very clear about this question okay please watch this video till the end okay first of all let me read the question here the question is find the true bearing uh, here the question is find the true or uh, true bearing is also called as the three figure bearing of the point a we are going to find out the location of this point a with respect to the point o and we can use here the protector okay this is the question and here the two figures are given uh, two questions are given a and b okay first of all let's solve this question a and here in question a the point is here located in the uh, in the second quadrant point a the very first step while solving such questions the very first step is just connecting this point this point for which we are going to find out the bearing we have to connect that point to the reference point here the reference point is point o so we have to first connect that okay let me just connect that point to the reference point o this is the first step in the very first step we have to just connect that point to the reference point and the second step second step is just measuring the angle okay here the question is related with the three figure bearing or it is it is also called as the true bearing in please remember that remember a very important point that in three figure bearing the angle is always measured from the north pole in counter sorry in clockwise direction the angle is always measured from the north pole from this north pole okay let me just uh, let me just clear this the angle is always measured from the north pole in clockwise directions okay let me just show the path okay this is the north pole we have to measure this angle and measure the angle made by that line segment uh, from the north pole in clockwise direction this is the direction clockwise direction okay we have to measure this angle okay let's measure this angle by using the protector and that will be the answer the angle should be written in three figures in three digits okay let's measure this angle by using the protector here here the next path is here we can see that angle measured from the north pole is here one path is like this but we have to go in clockwise direction we have to go in clockwise direction not in counter clockwise direction so uh, just uh, taking okay okay just uh, following this blue color way this uh, clockwise direction okay and here this is 90 degree the angle made in the first quadrant 90 degree second quadrant sorry this first quadrant 90 degree and this is also 90 degree this is 90 degree 90 degree plus 90 to 180 degree this is also 90 degree 270 degree and we need this extra amount angle angle a o w let's measure angle a o w okay let me measure the angle a o w okay uh, we can use the protector here uh, so let me just take the protector and measure this angle a o w this is how much uh, let me a little bit enlarge the size of this protector and let's measure here it is nearly 50 degree okay we can see that the angle is here nearly 50 degree so the final answer is written here angle aow is here 50 degree 
uh, in the writing format the answer uh, is okay let me just and the let me write here okay is and the true or three figure bearing of the point a from o is is here the angle is this 90 degree this is 90 degree plus this is 90 180 degree plus 90 degree 270 degree plus this angle a o w this is 50 degree 270 degree 270 degree plus 50 degree uh, how much uh, 320 degree okay 320 degree okay so the writing format is in 320 degree okay this is the answer 320 degree the angle should be written in three digits format here are the three digits so no need to change here the answer is 320 degree this is just the three figure bearing of this point a from o okay this is the answer of the first questions and let's solve uh, the second questions also okay and the, here the second question is the same questions uh, finding the uh, three figure bearing of this point a from o so very first step is just connecting that point to the reference point okay in the first step we have to just connect that okay and the second step is here the question is related with the three figure bearing and in three figure bearing the angle is always measured from the north pole always measured from this north pole in clockwise direction not in counterclockwise directions this is the uh, this uh, red line represents the clockwise directions okay let me just we have to follow this red line okay uh, and this is the in counterclockwise directions what we have to go go along the clockwise directions from north pole in clockwise directions to that line segment so uh, we have to use this red color path okay just measuring this angle from north pole to the line segment ao okay let me measure that angle just by using just by using the protector we can use the protector okay. just measuring this is 90 degree this is 90 degree plus this is 90 degree 90 degree plus 90 degree 180 degree and we need extra here angle a o s so let's measure angle a o s by using the protector just measuring this angle angle a o s we have to measure very accurately okay angle a o s here we can see the how much is the angle it is exactly one it is exactly how much degree 60 degree okay here we can see the angle is 60 degree angle a o s is 60 degree so the final answer okay the final answer will be okay let me write here the two or uh, three figure bearing is uh, how much degree this is 60 degree 90 degree plus 90 degree 180 degree plus 60 degree 180 degree plus 60 degree gives 240 200 okay 240 degree okay just 180 degree plus 60 degree we have to always in three figure bearing we have to always measure the angle from north pole in clockwise direction not in counterclockwise direction we have to follow the clockwise direction and here we have solved these two questions related with the three figure bearing by using the basic concept in our next video we will discuss more about such types of the questions so please keep watching keep loving this channel and don't forget to subscribe this channel this much for today thank you all of you